Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, preparing ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we first call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleansed from the stain of their sins, they may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abraham prostrated himself, God spoke to him. My covenant is with you, and it is this. You are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram. You shall be called Abraham. I'm making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile. I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you. The land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan, as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you, must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The 
The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. To the Lord, look to strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds he has done, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Your descendants of Abraham, your servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers his covenant, which he made, binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Please stand. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Old Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. So Jesus said to the Jews, Amen, I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said to him, Now we are sure you are possessed. Abraham died and did the prophets. Yet you say, We shall never see death. Jesus said, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. They said, Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died? Or the prophets, who died? What do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my father who glorifies me. Of who you say he is our God yet you do not know him I know him if I should say I do not know him I would be like you a liar but I do know him I keep his word Abraham your father rejoiced to see my day he saw it he was glad so the Jews said to him you are not yet fifty years old, and you've seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him. Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, good morning, everyone. Here we are again. And uh, hey, look, the sun shines. That's good. And here we are. Uh, first thing we talk about Abraham. Right? Who's Abraham? Well, he's the father of nations. I heard this. The book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible. How about that? And um, yes, he was, was an old age, didn't have any children, and he kept hearing these promises of God, you're going to have a great nation. Uh, he had faith, it said he had great faith, and eventually he did have, you know, one son, Isaac, and um, in a very old age, and then from that one son came a whole great nation, and we're part of that too. It's, um, the, of course, the, the Jewish people are descendants of Abraham, the Muslims are descendants of Abraham, and so are the Christians descendants of Abraham. Amazing, amazing man that many, many, many years ago, again, first book of the Bible, that uh, this all started. And um, we continue. And so he was, a, again, the father of these, these people, and then the, the Jewish people, Jesus was a Jew, and um, he's talking to the leaders here who are going to put him to death. It's Palm Sunday, Sunday, Passion Sunday, we'll be reading the Passion. And... Um, 
But he makes this statement at the end, talking about Abraham and everything. And before Abraham came to be, I am. And as I said before, he was invoking who God is, the name of God. And if you remember the story of the burning bush, when Moses was there on Mount Sinai, the, even before, very early, when he left Egypt, and went to Mount Sinai by himself, and he was up there, and this bush started burning, but it didn't burn, it was glowing. And then God started speaking to him in this born, burnt this bush. And then God told him, Go free the people in Egypt, and I'll be with you. And then Moses said, how can I know this? What's your name? And so he said, I am who I am, or I am, I will be what I will be. But when Jesus said, before Abraham came to be, I am, the Jewish leaders knew what he was saying, saying that he was God. And so they picked up stones to throw at him. But we know, and we believe, through the ages now, in our firm faith, in this Christian church that's been a Catholic church throughout the whole world, that we hold this true. He is the Son of God, equal with the Father. That's amazing stuff, huh? And um, it takes faith to believe that. And again, as I said, Abraham has great faith. May we have great faith. Just a little thing. <clears throat> Jesus said, Amen. I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So have you ever heard about people that have near-death experiences? They come back different, right? They, whatever happened to them, they saw a light, or they a great light, or they, they either went somewhere in the, a peaceful place, and then they came back, and they changed. The priorities changed. It makes you think of what we're going through right now. Maybe our priorities are changing. And what do we value? What's important? In a way, it's kind of a near-death experience. It's like in our face, isn't it? But uh, they, people who fear death less, they fear death less. They appreciate simple things more. They care more about others. They, most, they become more spiritual. They view excessive pursuits of fame, fortune, or power unfulfilling. All of us are going to die, but Jesus promises us eternal life. We shall live in eternity in union with God. Once we are convinced of that, we can live like those undergoing a near-death experience. You, be, become, you can become more giving. You can become less anxious. You can become more confident in God that he loves you. Do yourself a favor. Take those words to heart. Amen. Whoever keeps my word will never see death. May we change. May we grow. May we turn to God more. Turn to loving others more. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our prayers to the Lord, we present them this time. For the Pope and the bishops and all leaders, give them guidance, wisdom, and during this Lenten season, May the prayers and their actions and their ministries draw people closer to Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil government leaders, that for all the things that they're doing, may God guide them and help them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the whole world that God's peace be with them and comfort them, healing grace be upon them. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for those who are sick with the coronavirus, for God's healing and grace be with them, for God's strength to be with their family members, to protect them. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Healthcare workers, we pray continue to work with them, give them the strength they need, and give them the wisdom they need, and the courage they need, and the medicines and supplies they need. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those uh, staying at home, may God be with them and help them, help children and, and families and all members to care for their needs. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering financial hardship, God help them and give them the strength and what they care they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, remember our loved ones who have passed away. In the saving power of the death and the resurrection of Jesus be with them. Remember Corinne Nietzsche in a special way today. On the anniversary of her death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pause any prayers that you'd like to offer at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are the source of all, everything that is good. With confidence, we ask you to look favorably on the prayers we bring to you in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness that we have received, this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands that become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Pray my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good, the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings that they may profit for our conversion and the salvation of all the world through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty God, through Christ our Lord. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed 
and the authority of Christ crucified. So with the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work, that the human race may become holy, just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings, pour on them the power of your Spirit. They become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we were once lost, could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were stretched out between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. He knew he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross. He took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and then giving you thanks and praise, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and we look forward to his blessed coming. We offer you, faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself, by the sacrifice of your Son, grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, and all the clergy. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until at last the hour comes, we stand before you, saints among saints in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, with all our deceased brothers and sisters whom we commend humbly to your mercy. We pause and remember those who have died.
then freed at last from the wound of corruption and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, keep us always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot receive you at this moment sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you. You are already here. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. With him, he has given us all things. Romans 8, verse 32. Let us pray. Nourished by the saving gifts, your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same spirit, the same sacrament, with which you feed us in this present age, you make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray, that from day to day, 
they reject what does not please you. They may be filled instead with delight at your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. God's blessings upon you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, love, and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Have a good day.